Hey, uh, good weekend, whatever. Um, it's Saturday today. I'm gonna try to be ahead of the game and make the video today so I can upload it tomorrow because I want to try to upload every Sunday. So anyhow, um, I've been sick for a few days and I still feel kind of a little crappy and like a little yuck. Um, and the weather is yuck, which makes a big difference to me. Um, but anyhow, I've got a lot of crap taking over um, my house and um, my life. So I want to show the stuff I have and then spend some time listing it now that I, I'm getting a little more energy back, but not a lot. Um, anyhow, still distracted. Okay. I digress. So here's the first thing. Um, I found a Carhartt hat and apparently this might um, not be so popular lately. Um, but anyhow, brand new with tags. It's a uh, high vis, nice, I call it yellow, kind of greenish. Um, anyhow, and it's getting covered in fur so that's like it spent, you know, a whole week sitting around, so that's a good sign that I need to work a little harder on getting stuff at least listed and packed up so it's clean and stays clean. Now I gotta lint roll it and bleh. So anyhow, it'll be clean when you get it. Um, okay, so I found this cute cat wine bottle. It's, uh, it is grody, but you know, washing it is not difficult. I'll leave the sticker on. Um, it's kind of like a nice, I don't know, pink fuchsia, whatever color you call it. And it's cute. It can sell for about 20 bucks. I paid five minus 20%. Um, There's two of these little, oh, two of these, ew, ew, so much dog fur, two of these spaghetti cocker spaniels, look at them, where are you, how cute, um, they just have this on the bottom, there's no sticker, no um, I don't know, any identifying marks on them. Sniffle, sniffle. And I think it, just this one, has major crazing those little crackles. But who cares? Oh my god. No, uh, this one does have crazing too. But it's not the kind of thing where it's, I mean, to me, you don't eat out of it or really, um, you know, do anything that'll like, where that matters in my mind. Anyhow, 10 bucks for both of them minus the 20%. And they're cute. This guy kind of lays flat. Oh, and this guy sits up. Oh, where's the other guy? Okay, there's there, two of these um, made in Japan on the bottom. Mm. Boop. And uh, milk glass, what is that? A diamond quilted pattern, like a brass shakery. I'm gonna swear. A brass shaker top thing on it. I bought this little glass Christmas tree. It's got an anchor hawking symbol on the bottom as far as I understand. Um, three bucks. I don't know, six inches tall, give or take. It's cute. I bought this 
pretty sure it was um, the niche lady that I saw that had just bought one of these. Oh, that's different. <laughs> There's a brass. What the what? That is ceramic, not brass. Anyhow, little um, pottery vase in there. But anyhow, um, I bought it because of this. I'm pretty sure she said it's Swedish. Um, like a cowbell brass. Um, if it isn't anything that is like really sellable, I'm going to hang it on my gate. Because it's, you know, I like um, bells. Anyhow, lets me know if there's creepers. And... Oh, this. Just some garbage. Anyhow, this, as far as I can tell, is a... It's black Mexican pottery. Black clay. It has a name. You can't tell, but it's actual... I thought it was um, Raku, because it's black in there. Like, it was, you know, made like Raku. <laughs> Ugh, my brain is still foggy. Anyhow, um, but it's like a, you know, to me, a sugar skull kind of style. And I just was like, whatever that is, I'm getting it. Five bucks. And um, so when I was looking it up, it's just, um, yeah, black Mexican clay pottery. And I think it might be a little bit valuable, but I'm going to have to look again because... Um, you know, I wasn't holding mine when I was looking it up, so I didn't really get to compare. Just tried to give myself an idea of what it might be worth. And it's really nice. It's sort of um, like ugh, like metallic looking on the outside, like like uh, hematite kind of look, but it's just pottery, and I love it. And it doesn't have to go anywhere. Can. Oh, I'll just get this out of the way. So I bought this for me because I think it's bigger. Uh, it might be the same size as the one I already have. But whatever. I guess I could have two running. Uh, and I, I liked the uh, that glass cover on it for sure. Um, it just needs to have the, I have to buy an adapter. But anyhow, so that's for me. I don't, it's not worth reselling, but get that out of the way of other stuff. I found a Starbucks ceramic Christmas tumbler. Um, it is 2016, still has its price tag on the bottom. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Um, that'll be for sale. Probably 20 bucks. Mm. Didn't even look yet. These are um, Bath and Body Works. The soap dispenser covers. And this owl one's supposed to sell for pretty good money. It's like a metallic bronzy brass kind of color. This one could sell. Probably not. But anyhow, um, three bucks for those two, minus 20%. Um, get him listed. He's, whatever. I have this narwhal. I think my son tried to keep it, but I think I might sell it. Because he's cute. Or I might leave it here. <laughs> um, little... Salt and pepper shakers in a bag, $3.99. There's a rabbit that I think is supposed to hold this carrot. And then the chick is supposed to go on the top of this egg, I bet. And then there would be an egg cup that would be extra, maybe? Nope, there's something else in here. And a rubber chicken top. Hang on. Let's do this on camera. Ow. Ow, Steve.
cheapness. Where's the camera? Okay, carrot. You find me. Okay, so they go together. That's adorable. Ooh, squee. <coughs> Shit. Shoot. Okay, so then there's an egg cup. I don't think that really belongs there. So he looks like he belongs on there. It's rubber. Ew. I got random salt in my bed. He's cute. Little eyes. I guess it would hold an actual egg in there. Or just be a... That's weird. Yeah, they must go together. This one's squishy. This is ceramic. Okay, so then there's the salt, the feet, the egg bottom, and this chick goes on the top. Okay, that's adorable too. Um, these have lots of crazing in them. Um, and a chip on, ugh, chip, uh, to me, kind of, you know, not a terrible chip. You can't see it from the top, but you can see it from the bottom on his little feet. But he's cute. Gross. <sighs> Back up. This gazelle made out of wood. No markings. Paid five bucks. Yeah. But he's not damaged. Well, there's like a thing on the back. I wouldn't call it. It's not damage. Nope. I wouldn't call it that. But you can, if you're being really picky, there's that. But it's not anything. It's like a... It's just something noticeable if you're picky. God, I talk a lot. Okay. I bought an abalone bracelet, and on the inside it said Mexico on on Mexico, which I know means made in Mexico and sterling. And I love it. Um, normal size. Maybe I'll just wear it. That was seven ninety nine. <sighs> I bought this because I had to. It's a heart with there a heart with a crown on it. It's missing a stone, and I still bought it. Starting to. Starting to think I might have a problem. Um, but, and I, it's, it just was nice. It's really heavy and like really smooth. And I like it. Whatever. And I bought this because it's black glass. Can't see through it, but it's glass. Okay, so the mark on the bottom is a triangle with a C. What's that mean? Don't know, don't care. It's gonna be cute Halloween decor. Um, and if it's worth a lot of money, it'll be someone else's Halloween decor. I think that's it. That's it for that. Nope. Is this bag for $3.99 has a super fake geode thing in it. <sighs> it's 
made of resin or yeah it's nice but it's not even flat so hang it in the window I guess it's nice and then uh, uh, yay it's not damaged a oh, mat Mats Jonasson um, from Sweden. Love his stuff. Not scratched, just dirty. It's got a nice little signature. Um, and I don't know what the eagle sounds for, sells for, but um, probably twenty-ish at least is what I'm thinking. It's nice, hey. Anyhow, um, okay, I'm going to go spend some time listing this stuff and trying to sort through my mess and get a little handle on it because it's out of control. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.